First things first, I wanna note that this is probably the first YouTube tutorial that's ever had a flux capacitor in it. Now that that's out of the way, let's move forward. Now the app we're using today is an app called Video Leap, and if you don't have Video Leap yet, head down to my description. I've got a link to it. You can download it and install it for free, so make sure you have that in before we continue. Now the first thing I want you to do is look down at my timeline here that I'm scrubbing back and forth on. You're gonna notice that I already have a video in place. Now if you don't know how to get this far, stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna link out to a couple of other videos that I made on Video Leap that will bring you up to speed. Now I'm gonna hit play so I can find the perfect spot to add the text. So I have this crazy drum beat at the beginning and when that stops, the car starts driving towards me. What I wanna do is put floating text that comes from the top that floats down to the bottom. So let me show you how to do that. What you wanna do is go down and you wanna tap on the text icon and it's gonna add a text layer. Then it's gonna say double tap to edit the text. Double tap the text and you can change the text to whatever you want. Because this car is a time traveling DeLorean, I'm gonna type in DeLorean. Once you have your text ready, tap on the pink check mark, then you're gonna see your text surrounded by a highlighted box. What you wanna do now is use two fingers and pinch and zoom to place your text wherever you want it on the screen. Now I want this really large, so I'm gonna make it that big. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna move this text to the top of the screen. And this is the important part, so pay attention. If you look down at the bottom right hand side, you're gonna see a little diamond with a plus. That's a keyframe. You wanna make sure that you're on the text layer, then you wanna tap on a keyframe like this. And what it did is it just added a pink diamond keyframe on the text layer. Now, if any time you accidentally tap off the text layer or you wanna do an edit on the actual video itself, it's gonna look like this. But to go back to the text layer, tap on the text bubble and it comes right back. So now that the keyframe is still pink, that means that that's the keyframe that we're on. I'm going to grab my text and I'm gonna push it straight up and off the screen, just like that. Then I'm gonna to go to the end of this clip where the car comes right in and stops. And right when the car stops, that's when I wanna drop the next keyframe, just like that. Then I'm gonna pull my text down and place it right there. Then I'm gonna tap off here to get rid of the highlight box. I'm gonna back up to the start here then I'm gonna hit play. Okay, that looks great and that's exactly what I wanted, but let me show you how to actually get the text off of the screen. And we're gonna do something different for that. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna tap on the text bubble, wherever that is, there you are. We're gonna tap on the text bubble. We're gonna go over here to the end and we're gonna go down to the bottom and tap on animation. Then we're gonna tap on out, which means animation out, the end of the animation. What you're gonna find down here are different animations that you can add to your text, to your videos, to your photos, anything that you add inside of Video Leap, you can animate it in or out. And by the way, this is a great way to do intros. If you're trying to make a YouTube intro and you're trying to figure out what app to do it with, you can do it with Video Leap. So I'm gonna scroll over until I find, there it is, fall. I'm gonna use fall. I'm gonna tap on fall, and then I can use this slider to adjust how fast or how slow it falls. We're gonna put it about right there. Now I'm gonna pinch and zoom to reduce the timeline a little bit so I can go back and play it again. Okay, that's perfect. That looked exactly how I wanted it to work. But let's add one more to this next clip and let's do something a little bit different with it. So I'm gonna to go to the beginning of this clip, right there, I'm gonna hit text again and it's gonna add another text layer. I'm gonna double tap to edit, I'm gonna add my text, then I'm gonna hit the check mark again. Now I want this text to be really large. So I'm gonna zoom this in really large so it looks like this. And you need to be careful that you don't make it crooked unless that's the effect that you're going for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over to the right. I'm gonna move it just out of the frame, just like that. Then I'm gonna hit the keyframe. I added the first keyframe. And I'm gonna to go to the end of this clip, right there. And I'm gonna add the next keyframe. Then I'm gonna pull this back and take it all the way over to the other side, just like that. 
I'm gonna tap off, and then I'm gonna play it. Now, of course, you can bring your text in any way that you want. This is just the example to show you how to do it. Get creative with it and have fun. And if you wanna learn more about Video Leap, tap on one of the videos that's showing on the screen right now. Both of them are tutorials for Video Leap. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.